Hello, and welcome back to Control. Well, we just had a vision of Alan Wake typing. That's never a good thing. So let's find out why he pulled us down here. We know that the Control um, Bureau, whatever it's not the Control Bureau, is it? I don't remember what the full name is. Wow. Uh, but we know that the Bureau was investigating what went on at the lake in Alan Wake. Um, so they're studying a whole bunch of objects here. So we don't know if it's a particular object or if it was Alan Wake or if Alan Wake was able to use that object and bind it to him. Maybe the typewriter? I don't know. But I guess they're going to fill us in. So, Darlene was investigating it, apparently. Official findings report in response to Dr. Casper Darling, internal, confidential. Summary. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation D0845 was launched into the ethical practices of Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Despite the accounts of anonymous regarding inhuman treatment of a currently housed in the Bureau, our official findings regarding this were inconclusive. I wonder if they're talking about the candidate, you know, prime candidate number five, which he was not okay with mistreating him. Numerous obstacles arose during this investigation. The majority of sector personnel seemed to be wholly unaware of any such contained there. One confirmed that code name to be this is really inform informative. But all files pertaining to the name were inaccessible, being classified under the highest clearance level. Investigators were similarly blocked from entering the research wing to interview its staff. Maybe it wasn't Prime Candidate. Maybe it's somebody or something else. The matter was further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranatural entities were hu warrant humane treatment. Okay, so it was something else. While this investigation cannot address any charges against Dr. Darling, we do recommend an investigation into research. Refer to file 982-0136 for full report. That told us a whole bunch of nothing. Somebody was mistreating something. Possibly. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Oops. Collectibles. Correspondence. Mr. Dennis. A request came through recently from an FBI agent asking for all our files on Bright Falls, specifically on the disappearance of the author Alan Wake. Per the interagency information exchange agreement, I had some paper pushers gather up a folder of all pre-approved files. Don't worry, all the inappropriate material is either missing or redacted. But I'm writing to let you know that we received this request from a special agent named Alex Casey. Sounds familiar, right? That's because Alex Casey is the name of the fictional detective in those hard-boiled crime books Alan, Rake, Alan Wake wrote. Pretty interesting that an FBI agent sharing a name with the most famous character Wake wrote is looking into a case dealing with a writer's fiction coming true. I think this is worth looking into, but what's your opinion? Just give the word and I'll start surveillance on, the, on this guy, Special Investigator Gleason. I, I don't know. Maybe he based it on an FBI agent, but most likely he wrote about this agent and this agent exists now, since we know what happened during the incident. That's very likely. So this happened in 2017, I guess. Mr. Kirkland, here are, laced, a laced? <laughs> here are latest agents confirmed missing, presumed dead from the containment breach yesterday. Agent Jonathan Corner, researcher Ezra Cruz, Agent Caroline Dempsey, Agent Lindsay Malcolm, Agent Charles Murray, and Agent Derek Shaw. Letters of condolences will be delivered to you to sign prior to sending them to their families. You'll be updated as soon as additional confirmations are made. Also, prior request, a network engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally. Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not archived yet, and the only hard copies of reports exist behind the fire break. They're lost, I'm afraid. Unless we can get behind the fire break. Um, is this an incursion that we've heard about before? I don't know. Hi. Oh, I can barely see it. 
Burrow Tractor AI82KE. Supplementary, supplementary materials. I got it. Note, miscommunication led to a local coroner examining the body of William Burrow. Burrow, William, male, Caucasian. Case summary. 33-year-old man found dead on his property per police report. Remains obtained for coroner's office also include blood, urine, bile, stomach contents, and bone fragments. Autopsy findings. Blunt force injuries to the head, lacerations at the left ear and cheek or cheek. Blunt force injuries, extremities, dislocation, right knee. Complete avulsion of the right upper extremity with associated fractures of the proximal uh, right humerus. Okay, before I get any further, is this the guy that was, I don't remember if he was trying to help us or not. This was a long time ago when I did this Let's Play. Uh, but he got attacked by like flying objects and a tractor. I don't remember. <laughs> Extensive trauma. Uh, to abdominal region A, complete avulsion of multiple organs, including stomach, heart, liver, pancreas, kidneys, and portions of the large and small intestines, all missing from the scene. Jesus. Conclusion. It is my opinion that Mr. Burroughs' death is not the result of a mechanical accident, as claimed by authorities. The removal of organs is consistent with animal attack. Yeah, I don't remember. It's been, like I said, it's been a long time. I am going to get some things wrong. I heard something, but let's read this first. This happened in 2019. That's good to know. To whom it may concern, it is with great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of the investigation for the Federal Bureau of Control. I do this in protest of the rampant disregard for my departments. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. I blame this situation on our, who has routinely ignored my requests for assistance in reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the loose inside. I will never forget the screams of brave agents begging for us to open the, that fire break. I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. The has failed his agents. I shall never forgive him for that. Sincerely, William Kirkland. If there was a fire break installed because of an outbreak, of some sort, then maybe it was for a fucking reason, dude. All right, we definitely don't want to go in there yet. Will you stop floating there? Mr. Dennis. So, yes, there's an increase in AWE cases, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems that a tiny little detail has slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn staff. If you expect us to detect, investigate, and process more AWE cases, you need to give us more people. It's simple math. Between the staff we lost in the Hartman thing and the ones who left for the other departments after Kirkland quit, we're barely managing to keep up with the workload. Hell, just filing the paperwork for all altered items we left behind in the sector has been an ordeal. Another thing. And this is going to sound paradoxical, but we have an overcrowding situation. This lobby isn't meant to accommodate a whole sector's worth of staff. We put forward a motion to move investigations to a more suitable location months ago. It better not still be sitting on your desk. The people are getting restless and, as of Kirkland's interim replacement, it's your job to handle it. Best regards, Agent Grayson. So we need to find out what happened here? Oh. I mean, I don't know what else I would expect. There's a lot of story here all of a sudden. Cauldron Lake. That's what it was called. Cauldron Lake. Federal Bureau of Control. To Chief Investigator Dennis. It happened again. Third time this year. Something certainly has it out for our... Could be raccoons. The locals certainly complain about them enough, but why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? Doesn't add up. Anyway, I've got a bureau tech going to the site next week to take a look. Next on the list of recurring problems is the staff at the Lake House Research Station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on Lake 
well, if it says Cauldron Lake, then we know it's Cauldron. Okay. The Cauldron Lake, if they won't let me see any data, hell, I don't even know what they're researching out there. We need to petition them again to share their info with investigations agents. It's only a matter of time before this hits again, and I want to be prepared. Anyway, if anyone at HQ asks why Bright Falls, why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might invest in some raccoon traps. Sincerely, Agent Estevez. Nope, they're trying to stop you. So is it the lake, possibly, that was the source of power? It's a possibility. Of course, I have no idea. Official findings report, Doctor, or in response to Dr. Rhea Underhill. Summary. Dr. Rhea Underhill is a professor at the University of Woodrow in the United Kingdom, where she teaches biology with a focus on botany. Dr. Underhill once worked, once worked with the Bureau as a parabotanist stationed in the research sector of the oldest house. She served with no incidents or demerits and is praised by those who formerly worked with her, including Dr. Darling. Dr. Underhill has no known connection to the paracriminal organizations or any record of breaching her NDAs since leaving the Bureau. Her civilian behavior has been ideal, with the exception of an ongoing personal relationship with Dr. Darling that appears to have begun during the time as co- their time during their time, I got it, <laughs> as co-workers in the research sector and revisited intermittently ever since. Depending on the duration of her work in the oldest house, it may require to have both parties sign a relationship clearance form. The investigation has found no compelling, re compelling reasons to deny Dr. Darling's request to offer Dr. Underhill an interim position with the aim of finding a solution to the mold threshold issue. Prefer to file 7085286 for full report. Yeah, I can see the two of them getting on real well. They have very similar personalities. Very excited about the things they're excited about. I could see that happening and am not surprised. Official findings report in response to who the hell knows. Internal and confidential. Summary. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland was launched into the of Director Zachariah Trench. A recent change in witnessed in Dir Director Trench, including aggressive when with other staff, has been observed. However, this investigation is aimed at interpreting this issue rather than proving it. Notable, between the Director Trench and Dr. Darling has been witnessed by numer numerous Bureau staff, although both declined to meet for an interview on the matter. Witnesses account, witness accounts rather, suggest their arguments center around the Dimensional Research Wing and the kept inside. However, no evidence exists to confirm Director Trench's as anything more than the interpersonal, than interpersonal disagreements. This investigation has concluded that Dr. Director Trench, rather's behavior is not indicative of any, and that his fitness lead is not in question, if you say so. Refer to file for full report. I'll be honest, everything I've seen from Dr. Darling has been to get us ready for this, to stop this from happening. Trench killed himself and was paranoid beforehand. Like he had something in his head, maybe. Uh, that's a space helmet? The fuck? Kirkland, I'm growing tired of your blatant attempts to lay your incompetence at my doorstep. I know you want this to be true, but you are head of investigations. This failure is your responsibility. What did you think would happen, holding a dangerous specimen in investigations? The containment sector exists for a reason. They are better trained and better equipped for this type of work. In fact, they have admirably taken on certain AWE monitoring responsibilities that your staff are no longer capable of. This happens more and more now. And don't think your heady internal investigations have gone past my notice. You're a worm. Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the Bureau. The Prime Candidates Program only failed because of Darling. You are both failures, plotting against me. You are traitors, but the truth will merge out of you. You are choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be. 
Zachariah Trench, Director of Federal Bureau of Control. Yeah, he fucking lost it. He was going insane. Yeah, Trench's behavior is very, very suspect. And the fact that there was an investigation before all this happened means that they could have gotten to the bottom of everything if they would have only looked at the top. We're not doing that. Go away. That's kind of annoying. I'm just going to turn that off. All right. Well, it's a long way for us to go. But it's not working. Why is it working? Core somewhere. The one right here. Where did I plug it into? Can you get this stuff out of the way. There's a hole. I found. I found a hole. Oh. Yeah, talk about story dumps. Mr. Kirkland. We stopped at Keystone on our way to the target AWE, like you asked. I'm sending my report directly to you to try and keep a lid on this Grumman Morals d desertion issue. We didn't find any sign of them here, given their records. It is possible they've switched teams, like you suspected, but I don't think that's the case. An, evident, an event definitely occurred here in Keystone, and I think Grumman and Morals... Morales? I, eh. Got caught up in it. I have a hard time with names. The entire population has vanished into thin air. Reminds me of the ordinary case, but that was just the adults, if I'm remembering the file correctly. This is different. I think our guys are casualties, not traitors. If it was an AWE, it seems to be over. We walked through the whole town, and the only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings. Two overlapping circles with a dot in the shared space. Could be unrelated. I'll show you the pictures when I get back. In the meantime, you should send a team out here to cordon this place off and maybe get the comms guy working on a cover story. Sincerely, H. N. Keenum. Interesting question mark? Guess I'll keep my eye out on that. Oh, we know where to go now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Settle down, Polaris. Burrow Tractor AI-82KE. Containment procedure. Item is not in Bureau custody. None known. Wait, what? Oh, containment. We're containing it. There's none known. Description or altered effect. A Frank Elk Tractor. All green. Dried blood on the grill when last seen. Uh, I, I would think so. Item is capable of vocalized responses or growls and unmanned locomotion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I remember that. Considered highly aggressive and dangerous. Background. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after the death of Wild William Burrow, owner of Bureau Burrow's farm outside of Trenton, Texas. Jesus Christ, there's something wrong with me. Local authorities arrived on the scene after an employee found the mutilated body of Mr. Burrow beneath his tractor. Police arrived, but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Panicked calls to the federal authorities were intercepted by Bureau communication staff. A team was dispatched. Upon arrival, the agent approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. Three agents were injured when they tried to detain the item, which escaped. Aerial searches for the item are ongoing. Speaking uh, to Miss Burrow only revealed that she had a domestic altercation with Mr. Burrow earlier the night of the incident. Whether these events are connected is currently unknown. So I guess, I guess the tractor became an item and is now just wandering around like a bear. That is so odd. So it it retained the locomotion after the entire Cauldron Lakes thing finished. Okay, well we know that happens. Official findings report: response to the Prime Candidate Program, internal and com. Confidential. Summary. For authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation P1429 was launched into the legality of the prime candidate program by the Federal Bureau of Control. Since all known subjects relevant to the investigation used executive privilege to decline interviews, very little firsthand information was gathered. However, Anonymous sources and documentation declassified by Mr. Kirkland both paint an alarming, clear, alarmingly clear picture of systemic and were brought into the oldest house and placed under examination and testing with the aim of appointing one as director upon maturity. 
This program has produced no successful cases and only resulted in the traumatic of a paranaturally inclined. Not only is this a breach of the Ash Act, but it flies in the face of basic human. The investigation team unequivocally the prime candidate program and recommends that it be immediately. Refer to file 9820136 for full report. I'm wondering why some of these are so redacted is because of the director trying to hide something. Um, it, it's definitely possible. But it seems like it wasn't dar just Dr. Darling that was against the prime candidate program. Um, well, Dr. Darling wasn't against it. He was against treating them inhumanely from what we've seen. So, yeah, again, something could have been done. It wasn't. All right, well. Come here, please. And we'll just put you in there and... Well, not the chair. Now that gate should open. Simple, simple. It's just weird how there's no his presence here. I didn't mean to do that. I apologize. Sorry, to Mr. Trash Can. I, I, I did not mean to make you go for a ride. Official findings report in response to incident A49. Internal and confidential. Summary. The purpose of internal investigation X-39-7 is to examine the containment failure of specimen SI-1 that resulted in the deaths of agents. An inspection report of the containment equipment three days earlier showed no faults. Investigators suspect human error to be the case, yet no department has provided any evidence to support this. Technicians were able to recover the researchers' notes on the specimen from the internal network. On the of uh, the specimen began displaying a sharp increase in aggressive cross-referencing the data with various logs found only two events inconsistent with the sector's daily routine. One, the error filters were changed, and two, an hour prior to the incident, a civilian named Alice entered the sector regarding an unrelated investigation. See interview 65F124. Given their connection to the same AWE case, it is likely that Miss's presence is relevant to the specimen's escape and to the investigation is ongoing. Refer to file 6230721 for full report. So somebody broke out a specimen, it seems like. Up. He has a control point and a way back to the hotel. Uh, I don't know what I need to do. get in there. I do have some abilities though. Uh, we're just doing, I think we're just doing energy right now. All right, I'm gonna wait some more. Um, do we... I want to save up the materials to upgrade Pierce, and then we'll construct charge. I don't know if we'll ever use it, but it will I'm be there at the very least. I'm a detective, but something definitely happened here. You don't say, Jesse. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, because I would have no idea. Looks so normal to me. Paracriminal profile, the blessed organization. Oh, crap. Summary. The group or individual has operated outside of the Bureau's notice for decades, perhaps longer, displaying a level of skill and caution rarely seen in a paracriminal group. A review of the past cases has found various mentions of their activity over the years. In 2016, a production company called Blessed Pictures was connected to the alternate item case, as well as the deaths of an agent from exposure to illicit paranatural materials. In 1994, a Los Angeles-based public speaker named Chester Bless was involved in the illegal use of an altered item. In 1988, a business called Blessed Repair and Services was suspected of involvement with an object of power, a power case, uh, perhaps even creating it. None of these businesses or individuals have ever been located. However, their connection to appearances of altered items and objects of power is too direct to be considered circumstantial. An arrest order has been issued for any persons believed to be involved with the Blessed Organization. Refer to file 739-0922 for a full report. Huh. 
I'm wondering if they actually were able to create an object of power, that's something that control can't do. They suspect it's possible, or at least Darling suspects it's possible, but they don't know how to. Okay, so... Let's get in there and see if we can unlock this. Do we know each other? Hi? I feel... This feels familiar. I can't seem to... I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. What? I'm... My name is Alan Wake. Hi? Is it both of them? Who are you? Who are you? Do I know you? I'm your friend Tom. Tom Zane. What? There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An old terror like yourself. Ah. Uh. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. Night Springs. Is that Dr. Darling? Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. Jesse knows of Zane, but also did knew Zane as a poet, but not as a director. And now Zane is saying he's Alan both. Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. Yeah. What's he doing here? I don't know. Also in a door we've never Thomas been in. Zane was with him. Yeah. The poet. No, yeah, wait, the director. The, the, he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. I, I don't know if you are. I think there's something there. I honestly think there's something there. I don't know how far it goes, but the fact that you are sure, you were sure he was a poet. But there's no mention of him anywhere. No. He's a director. The fuck? Uh. Seems like they're out of Sour Patch Kids. I don't know why it's making so much noise. I'm scared of it now. Okay, well. I think I'm going to end it here because I think we are getting into something. Big. Also, visit Nevada, state of freedom. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> but anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. And this has been Boylag, signing off.